match. And Triple H won the semifinal match earlier tonight, so he has already earned his spot in the WrestleMania title match just two weeks away. It seems to me that you got the ke- ah, you got some catching up to do. Of course, you have no stranger. You are no stranger coming in second to Triple H. Let's get something straight. Jerky Y2J <laughs> doesn't come in second to anyone. And that's exactly what Cross is going to find out tonight. He might be a great competitor, but I am the largest than living lie living legend. Tonight I am going down to the ring and I am going to beat Crosswind to earn my place in the WrestleMania title match. Triple H might have gotten out of losing the title once, but it's never ever going to happen again. Wow, he's all fired up to lose. So anyways, Mark Henry is the champion after Hell in the Cell still. After he beat Randy Orton at that one pay-per-view. I don't remember what the pay-per-view was called. I know it's Hell in the Cell and something before that. I don't know. In the previous pay-per-view though, he fucked Randy Orton up. It wasn't even funny. I find it kind of hilarious to be honest. So no one really fucks up Randy Orton that much. Yeah, Y2J! Get him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Manhattan, New York. So we got Y2J. Anyways, yeah. You think you know? Henry fucking up. Fucking Randy Orton. That was pretty funny. Uh, though, in Hell in the Cell, it was kind of. Eh. It didn't make me enjoy it as much as the other one did. I don't remember the damn pay per view. What the hell it was called. Oh, Night of, was it the Night of Champions? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So far, to me, it's been good. Though, I have noticed that CM Punk hasn't like been trashing WWE anymore. I'm not sure why, but regardless, I still, I still like CM Punk. He is, in fact, the best in the world at what he does. Though right now anyone can say that they like CM Punk. I, I freaking like CM Punk since I saw him against the Brooker and Brawler back in ECW in his first match. I don't think much, many people can say that, but regardless. Also, you know, I don't really why well, watch it, but I can't always watch the full two hours of it, so... I still am wondering if CM Punk does the Anaconda Vice. That's that's like one of his. Well, that's the one move that I actually like. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Chris Jericho. You know, we all miss him too. At least I do, because when he was heel, he was like one of the funniest things ever. He was a good heel. And I really like this line salt. I don't know why. I like this line salt way too much than I should have. This line salt was so legendary. It was really, uh, it was amazing. He did that thing out of nowhere. Here's your winner, the legend. So yeah, that was quick. Uh, you know, these matches are probably gonna be quick just because, just because they're not really all that strong. Once we get into like the third, fourth week, they start progressing a little more, and they won't lose to stupid moves like the ones I did. But anyways, I hope you're enjoying this pretty strange commentary of me reminiscing about. Oh god, the highlight reel. Reminiscing about Hell in the Cell. Though I don't know every match that occurred because I only saw a few matches. And I know there's a guy on the internet called J Dub who kind of just reviews him. I kind of just go on there and listen to him. I don't really watch the pay per views because I can't afford them. And I don't have the money to afford them. I'm barely just scraping by as it is now. Ladies and gentlemen, Jericho Jericho-holics of all ages. As you know, I am no longer involved in the Eric Bischoff Little World Heavyweight Tournament. 
And as much as I like to say that I got screwed out of my yet another title opportunity, I gotta admit that I have beaten Prince Square in this very ring. It was a hell of a match, and beating Y2J is no small accomplishment. So I'd like to congratulate the man who did it. My guest tonight, Cross Win. You think you know me? I look cool. I like how we all have a gen generic animation. So first of all, Crosswind, congrats on your win last week. You did a toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. I have no idea what this is. And now that you're off to WrestleMania for a chance to win the World Heavyweight Championship, I think I speak for everyone, every Jericho-holic out there, when I wish you the best of luck against Triple H. And if Y2J can't come home with the gold, then the next week's thing is watching Triple H lose the granddaddy of the mall. Well, thanks, Chris Jericho. I appreciate that. And I'm glad you know it's nothing personal. And we both had our sights set on the same prize. I was just, it was just the look of the jar and I had the, I, I had a good stat match. It was all luck, right? But speaking of luck, maybe I'm lucky enough that you gave me that first opportunity of challenging for the title. I never really lost Lost after you beat Triple H next week. Time snap. Time to play the game. Oh my God, Ric Flair still here? <laughs> I thought he was dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on a second. You screwed off, huh? It's all about the game. Get off my air. Okay. What are you doing asking for a title man? Everyone in this arena knows that at WrestleMania, Crossman is just going to be the latest in the long line of guys who have lost to the cerebral assassin. Face it, Jericho, you're a loser. And after I regain my title at WrestleMania, Crossman is going to be a loser too. Hell, maybe he starts his own little interview show and tries to make up for his black title for me. I am a 10 time world heavyweight champion by all rights and I should still be champion. I don't know what Eric Bishop is planning is playing at with the stupid title oh, tournament. But he's just playing the inedible and you're just wasting your time. We're wasting our time, huh? Well seeing as as you come out here uninvited, you and Play seem to have some spare time on your own. And now that it's time to put up or shut up. How about the two of you versus Jericho and I in a tag team match tonight? No way, look at this man. Triple H is champion. He has the greatest professional he is the greatest professional living wrestler in the world. So he doesn't have to prove anything to nobody. You can take your tag team match and stick it. It's not hold on. Nick, hold on. You have no problem at all. You got nothing else going on tonight, and I want to show this. He's coming this Sunday. People like to refer to this Sunday, but you're wrong. Wow. Wow. I didn't want to face him. I was just going to take the night off and go to a hotel and go to sleep with Stacy, but whatever. Whatever. Or we could have had the rated R live sex thing that Edge did not too long ago. Well, a few years from this. You think you know me? Okay, that's my character. Y2J. Alright, we haven't seen Flair, so we'll go with Flair. And from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing 243 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. So, yeah. Time to play the game. Time to play the game. No. Kind of don't see Triple H as... As... And the tag team. Since he became the CEO of WWE. Although it may be just a, well, it's probably just a storyline. I don't know. I'm still kind of just like, eh. I, though the match he had with Punk was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. 
That was a good match. Even though he won in the end, I believe Puck should have won, but whatever. That's just my opinion. It's only one man's opinion. We all can't have the same thought. At least I can't, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> Speaking of Flair, I'm not. I don't watch TNA at all, so I'm wondering how he's doing. Though recently I read in a wrestling magazine that he and Hulk Hogan had their contracts expired, expired or somewhere along those lines. I'm not honestly sure how that is going. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they're gonna stay there, though. I haven't really read much of it. Uh. So. Yeah. Backdrop. And you know, I haven't really saw anything in TNA. So uh, I mean, I don't have anything against TNA. I, I mean, they're not the baddest thing out there. Although a lot of people kind of don't like them because. I don't know why they don't like it. Well, I don't know. It's just, I guess they try to rip off WWE or something. Uh, I only watched CNA when they first started out. Once they got to TV, I kind of just stopped watching it. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I don't really watch TNA to the full max or whatever. People like making fun of the TNA audience. I mean, 